Hey, what's going on guys? I don't have a camera stand here with me, so this is gonna uh, just be a free-handed video. But I got these um, pillars, they're Brownells brand pillars, and I'm going to be pillar bedding this stock off of a fierce firearms rifle that doesn't shoot worth shit. They're supposed to be guaranteed for half MOA and um, it's not shooting anywhere close to that. It's probably shooting like inch and a half or so. Um, so I already glass bedded it with Brownell's Acker glass, but I'm also going to pillar bed it as well. Um, when I glass bedded it, I used, where are they at? I used uh, these uh, Forster inletting guide rods, which also are available at Brownells. They are, um, uh, what are they? They're quarter inch in diameter. So I'll probably just use this quarter inch um, pointer to line up and get my my holes and then the directions say that it's ideal to um drill them to nine sixteenths to install these pillars so i'm gonna try this uh nine sixteenth end mill um i might drill them a little bit bigger rather than take it all at once go like a size in between there somewhere uh, we'll see how it hap ha, ha, sorry how it goes. Um, a regular drill bit I think is just going to tear it up. So I'm hoping the end mill keeps everything nice and clean. So I'm going to get this set up here in the mill, and uh, I'll be back. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I'm all set up here. Um, I'm not going to be able to film and mill, but I'll come back after I get these done. All right, guys, it milled uh, pretty easily there. Um, I'm going to set back up with my um, quarter inch uh, pointer on the rear here and uh, do the same. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to do a little bit different setup here. Um, Brownell's directions say to, they recommend to drill up through from the trigger guard side. However, the, uh, the grip on this was in the way for me to be able to get in there. So I had to flip it around, but as you can see here, did a pretty good job of milling that out. I didn't crack my bedding or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're gonna mill this one out and hopefully have the same results. All right, guys, I um, forgot to do the video while I was doing, um, but it came out pretty good. Um, might have to take a Dremel up in there with a, a round sanding disc just to clean the hole up a little bit, give it a little bit more clearance because it's still a pretty tight fit for these um, pillars. But now we're gonna go over to uh, the lathe here and I'm trimming these down to, um, to length. I'm leaving them about 10 thousandths too long just to make sure and then once I fit them, I'll take the rest off um, with a small Dremel or something. Um, it's aluminum so it cuts pretty easy but I'd rather them be a little bit too long until I get them fitted and, rather than too short and then it defeats the purpose of the pillar. So I'm gonna get these trimmed up and then I'll be ready to bed them in. All right, guys, these are trimmed. I had to take like 150 thousands off the big one and 100 some thousands off the smaller one. Um, they're trimmed to where I want them and now it's time to go home and uh, bed these in. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I got my pillars here. I scuffed them up already with some 180 grit sandpaper just to give them a little bit um, more, something more um, for the bedding to stick to. And I also wiped them down with acetone afterwards. Um, and I got some acro glass mixed up that I dyed black. And I'm running these. Um, these Forster indexing guide rods and I already sprayed it down with um the acro release release agent in case um 
I get a little messy here and the Acura glass gets up on the action. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do it from the top just so you can see they have a little bit of a V block just to make sure I can get those lined up good and square. And I'm just gonna, see, already getting messy, not a big deal. I'm gonna fill these grooves up. It's a bit messy. Like so. Get a little bit more on it. A lot of this is going to squeeze out just because um, the hole's not much bigger than the diameter of these pillars. So, but I like to make sure I got them covered good. So that's covered. I'm going to clean the top off a bit. And now it's ready to be seated down in. And it looks like it's um pretty square on how I want it. I'm just going to let it sit up a little bit and then when I seat the barreled action down in it should push it down flush and then I'm gonna flip it over after I have it clamped in and push those up to ensure they're staying tight to the action. You can um which I might I don't know we'll see what happens here you can um put your trigger guard on and actually um tighten it down with your action bolts. I don't do a lot of pillar bedding. Um, I think just glass bedding the action is good enough, but we're going to try to cover all bases with this one being that it's a gun that was guaranteed to shoot and it doesn't shoot. So if you eliminate these variables, um, then you can kind of say it's in the craftsmanship of the the gun, custom gun build itself. So, all right, I'm ready to stick the back one down in now. Take these gloves off for a second. And that back one might ooze out a little bit, so I'm gonna mask. I'm gonna mask the back of the stock off just to prevent a mess here. Okay, I think we're ready to put it down in. As you can see, there's a little bit oozing up out, so that's why I said to spray the action in your guide pins um, with the release agent. And I'm going to throw a clamp on this. Or maybe two. We'll see here. All right, we'll throw two on. I'm 
get this acroglass out of the way. And I'm gonna take it out of the vise and flip it over. One second, guys. I gotta take this clamp back off. Got a little bit of bedding where I didn't want it. And if you can see here, I left them a little bit long still, just because I didn't want them to end up too short. What I might do is, um, where did it go? Now that I have it kind of where I want it, maybe I will put the uh, floor plate in and screw it down. I don't want to screw it down too tight or anything, but I'm going to spray some acro glass here on this trigger guard. Take this off. I'll run these out. They shouldn't have any glass bedding on, very little. But I will also spray the um, takedown screws as well, just to um, ensure that they're not gonna get stuck up in the action if I screw it up through past um, some wet bedding. Where are my screws at here? All right. Put this guy down in. I'm going to tighten these up super tight, just tight enough to ensure that it's pushing up. The pillars are pushing up on the action. And I'm just with this, with this, um, P handle thing. I'm just tightening it till I start feeling some um, flex in it, and that's about it. And since I put the actual bolts in, I'm gonna flip this back over and come back in. Actually, actually, can probably come back tomorrow, but I like to let it go at least five hours. Um, that way, it's still it's not completely hardened but it's hardened enough that it keeps its shape. And then I can trim up anything with the razor blade that I might need to. 
Um, but yeah, here we go. That's about it, guys. Um, I'll come back after I pull it here and just give you one last look at it. And that'll be it for this one. All right, guys, I'm ready to pull this up out. We can do it one-handed. There, there you have it. They're in there. Left a little bit of a lip there. Um, I'll clean it up a little bit, and then you can see there's a little bit around the screw, like where the screws go down through. So I'll clean that up too, and then trim up underneath them. Um, I'm not taking this out, but let's see if we can get down here and see. Then I'll just clean that up down there and ensure that those are flush with the stock and not hanging out anymore just so the trigger guard fits in nice and flush. So I'll put a link in the description for the pillars that were used, the Forster guide rods, um, the Acker glass, um, just in case you guys want to tackle this on your own. Something that seems a little bit scary. I mean, you're you're milling your stock out pretty big to fit these pillars in, but uh, it's really not that hard to do. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helps some guys. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, leave them below. Thanks guys.